I am so excited to share with you guys the Good and the Beautiful's new language arts level two. Today, you're gonna get a sneak peek inside this course book and see everything that it comes with, and you guys are gonna love this. If you're new to my channel, my name is Vani and I've been homeschooling for 10 years and I make video to help you on your homeschooling journey. So make sure you take a second to check out all of my playlists and all the videos and make sure to hit the subscribe button when you're done. Today I wanna to share with you a sneak peek into The Good and the Beautiful's new level two for their language arts. Now if you're new to The Good and the Beautiful, they make amazing language arts curriculum. They make amazing curriculum all around. But their language arts, I find to be the best that we have ever used. And in all of my 10 years of homeschooling, schooling this is the curriculum that has worked the best for us and we are using it have been using it and will continue to use it if we continue to go all the way into high school so let's take a peek inside this course book but also a look into everything else that the language arts new level two comes with because you don't just get this big course book you get some other goodies too come and look so here is your main course book for the language arts and literature level two from the good and the beautiful now what i love about the good and the beautiful language arts program is that it's it's not just language arts that you're getting here obviously you're getting part of your language arts you're getting phonics writing reading grammar and punctuation spelling literature geography and art having it all in one course you're getting everything in here and you're covering a ton of subjects some that you might not even do if it wasn't in your course so the good and the beautiful level two is the first edition that correlates with the reading booster program and i'm going to show you the reading booster program after this when you first open your course book you get a list of items needed for every unit so what's really cool is now they have apps that are used in the curriculum as well. So we'll get more into that when we see. But it shows you here that if you see these icons, you're going to be you're going to be using the app whenever you need to use the homeschooling app and then this icon to use the letter tiles app. The app has how to videos and helps. It has instructional videos for the student video books that are integrated within the curriculum and the reading booster games. It has a list of items to always have on hand, which makes homeschooling very easy. In the beginning of the homeschool year, you just pick up all these little things. A lot of them you probably already have at home. And it makes setting up your second graders program easy. Okay, now you also have some suggested coordinating readers. That's my first nature reader, my second nature reader, and my third nature reader. Now these readers give the children extra independent reading practice at exactly the level that they're on. In doing that, you're boosting confidence and you're making reading less overwhelming and more enjoyable and positive for your child. Now these are physical readers and they are not integrated with the cores, but they do follow the exact scope and sequence of the reading booster cards. And this tells you more about the readers. Now you also are getting the integrated and free letter tiles app and this is this page here explains the letter tile app and I'm going to show you inside of it really quickly. Okay, so from the good and the beautiful's website, if you type in the good and the beautiful.com/apps, here you're going to get the two different apps. So you download them. And the first one we're going to look at is the letter tiles one. So here you have your different levels. You have K, level 1, 2, and then practice A, uh, A through Z. But we're going to tap on get started. And then you have a video here on how to use the app. How to use the letter tiles app by the good and the beautiful. The letter tiles app was designed primarily for children using the good and the beautiful language arts courses. So that video is going to show you how to use the app. All right, you have your helpful hint, some notes that tells you what to do. Everything in blue or purple basically is telling you exactly what you need to say or do 
before you start the course or as you're doing the course. So in a lot of the lessons, there's different activities like this that you get to play with your kid to make sure that they're having fun while they are learning. If your child is not having fun while they're learning, a lot of times, guys, they're not really learning. Kids learn better when they're enjoying the coursework, and that's why the good and the beautiful always has so many different lessons and a great variety of activities so that your child can stay engaged and learn well. Here's some writing practice, and here's a little bit of art, and then they're gonna be doing their personal or shared reading. So now we're just gonna like peek in the course book. Here's some art study. This lesson is on writing sentences. Here, here's a spelling lesson. Here's, this is uh, editing, so I love this when they have to edit the story. Until it starts with these little punctuation marks and capitalization. Then your child has to use the symbols to edit the story. Here you have a little crossword puzzle, which is awesome because it's always good to have them learn how to do these things. Even though this one's a little different because there's no numbers on it, but still. Here's some geography. Mixing in common and proper nouns using sen complete sentences to write answers to questions. I like that one. I want to show you this. Okay, so first we have, let's look at this app portion here. It says to practice the spelling, the you know one spelling words using the free, good, and the beautiful letter, letter, letter tiles app. Level two spelling words, unit one, or any desired, or any way desired. So we go to level two. And the way they use the letter tiles app is you're going to dictate these words to the child. So you would tell them nice after doing the whole lesson. And then they just have to figure out how to spell nice. And they just, they can tap it or they can drag it up and spell nice. And then you can check it. So if they've made a mistake and they put the letters in the wrong order, you, they can drag it over, sorry, like that. Or they can press the back button if they added if they added a letter that it doesn't belong. Okay, now consonant chunks are put together in purple, vowels are blue, and consonants are in yellow. Here you only have the letters needed for the dictation in lesson 39 so that your child's not having to sort through the entire alphabet getting frustrated just trying to find the letter. So this is very helpful because when we were doing spelling before, I would have my child, I would have to get a whiteboard and have my kids write the letters um, or they could spell it out loud but they definitely hated doing it pencil so this is a lot better it makes the spelling a lot more enjoyable i know my daughter's gonna love this okay so before we move to unit two i also want to show you the review so you get a section here that's going to be reviewing the main parts of the course that the kids have learned in the unit the reviews are shorter and the old good and the beautiful it was pretty long. You had a whole bunch of different activities through the review and we always end up skipping them because it's taught so well that they didn't need all that practice. And then you have your reading assessment. So your child has to read this passage in whatever amount of time with however many mistakes it tells you. And then you can score it down here. The reason why there's not a spelling test is because the spelling words are not meant to be mastered in this course. It says that they're just to be practiced. So I'm just gonna show you some more lessons in here. Okay, here it says, this is the different icon. And here you're gonna go to the other app, which is the Good and the Beautiful homeschooling app. When you go into this, this app, you're gonna look for level two. Now it's not here yet, and I assume it's because the course hasn't been released yet, but you're supposed to watch a video called Spelling Rules. So let's just go to level one and let's just check out their video because uh, this has already been released. So it would just be a video something like this long vowels hmm. what is a long vowel oh is this a long vowel that doesn't seem right wait we're going to talk about long vowel sounds <laughs> i actually really like this, this i know is what a long vowel sound is cute a long vowel sound so it's a little less a vowel says its name which gives you a break and it also gives the child a different way to learn and to learn from somebody else. It's really cool. 
um, like, but that was for level one. The level two videos will be up before the course is released. Yeah, beginning sentence diagramming, some writing practice, and you can see it got increasingly longer the lessons and a little and more challenging than it did in the beginning of the course. And throughout it, all the reading selections are about good and beautiful things, the golden touch. There was a lesson in here about uh, re reading good and beautiful things and not things that are not good for you to put into your mind. Nature journaling. This has a little bit of everything in it. Okay, then you have your whole course review, a final reading assessment, and then if a little congratulations kind of certificate there. So that's the course book. Now with this course, you're also going to have, here are your reading booster cards. And it's in a spiral bound little book, so you don't have little cards to lose or have to collect and put in different envelopes and things like that. So in the past, whenever they had, the Good and Beautiful has had cards to learn, they would, you would have to get three different little like folders or little like uh, envelopes and put them in the mastered and reviewed and the ones that you were learning. And I always end up losing the envelopes or my child ends up losing them or misplacing them or, you know, putting the cards in the wrong place. And it's just pretty annoying. But here, all the cards are, are in here. And once it's mastered, you get a sticker from the back of the book and you put it the master circle on the top of the card. So here's the stickers. Here is where you're gonna put that it's mastered. You also have some review cards that are placed intermittently throughout the cards and will prompt the child to review certain words. And when you're reviewing, if the child still knows all the items quickly, check off the corresponding review box on the review card. So when we get to that, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, before starting the course, your child has to master these, these vowels and these sight words. Okay, and then they go into here and it says exactly what for you should do or say, and these are the words that they're gonna be practicing. In the past, they used to have challenging words that they would review, and there used to be a list of it, but this has like everything in here. And then you have your two little readers here, Molly and the Falcon, and Wesley and the Woods. I mean, <laughs> Wesley and the Wolves, which is pretty awesome because you get a girl character in one and a boy character in the other. And this is what the student's gonna read, and then this is what the teacher's gonna read. Your kid, your child might even wanna color these pages. I would wanna color them. It's your book, so you can have that if you would like. And so the chapters have the word sounds that the child is learning and any challenging words that they're, that they're gonna be learning as well. So it's a great way to practice. And then this is, they're both shared readers, which at this age is really important because you wanna be able to hear them and help them pronounce words and correct anything that needs to be corrected. So that's it. The good and the beautiful new level two. I hope you guys enjoyed the look into the new good and the beautiful level two. I want to thank the good and the beautiful for sending me this course so that I can share it with you guys. Make sure that you check in with the good and the beautiful every so often to find out when it's going to be released. The website says it's going to be released sometime in July of this year. If you're part of their email list, then you're going to get an email and it's going to let you know when it's released. Or you can join their Facebook group and and there you will also get all the latest news from the good and the beautiful make sure you guys check out all the other video curriculum reviews that i have here thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video